hello everyone uh, my name is rahul and welcome to my channel rahul kewa labs so in today's tutorial uh, we will see how uh, we can create a connection that is the db connection uh, to mysql server with talent and uh, uh, we will be printing the results into an excel file so um, uh, for reference you can uh, refer this particular link like help.talent.com and you will get a lot of uh, points out there as well so uh, in two ways we can you know connect uh, to the database connection that is uh, you can create a connection in metadata wizard so the benefit of creating it in metadata wizard is uh, you can utilize it uh, you know in several jobs and several projects another option is like you can directly configure the connection Another option is like you can directly, you know, configure the connection uh, during the job creation inside the component. So th this will not be reusable because it will be limited to that particular job. And uh, this one will be you can utilize in any of the jobs. So that will be uh, present in the metadata wizard, right? So uh, while connecting to the SQL server, you need to provide some details like the server, the user, the password and the databases. Right, the name of the database right so um, let's go to the talent and uh, let's see how we can create a job okay uh, so this is the talent open studio um, uh, the tool that we have installed and we have seen the installation in the previous uh, videos and I have installed uh, the Microsoft SQL server uh, on my system so we'll be connecting uh, the MS SQL server uh, and uh, fetching uh, the records from the table uh, we can take any of the tables out here and uh, we'll be putting it into the Excel okay so um, uh, today in this video I'll create the you know uh, the connection through metadata wizard all right so so if when you open the metadata wizard you will see all these uh, different types of connections are present out here so we want the DB connection right so what we will do is we'll click on DB connections and we'll click on create connection right so now so, so you have to provide a name you know to the database connection uh, the purpose and the description that's optional if you want to give uh, you can otherwise uh, that is also fine so I'll give the name as test 2.0 something like uh, or I'll give connection MS SQL right so this is the name that I have given and uh, a purpose you can give like uh, connecting to MS SQL and output to a file like uh, I'm creating this connection for this particular purpose so that's up to you you can give you cannot give that's okay uh, click on next now here you need to specify the database which you want to connect with so if you select uh, click on this option db type so you will see uh, different kinds of databases that we have out here right so we want uh, ms sql right so we have here uh, microsoft sql server so select that particular database right and uh, as soon as you select the database there will be some fields that are auto populated right so the first one is the db version so which uh, the, like which DB version you want to connect so there are two options present here like Microsoft and open source JDTS so uh, we will be using uh, open source JTDS you can use Microsoft as well but for that you need to download a driver Microsoft driver so maybe that I'll cover uh, in some later section and coming to the next one so uh, that is login uh, so here you have to provide uh, the login and the password to your database so uh, here I have already configured the login ID if you go here to security and if you go here to users so this is the ID that I have configured with my name and all the details so same thing you can also do that in your particular database and you have to give the login ID and password here so let me give the login ID and password so now it is asking you for the server so uh, on whichever machine your database is installed uh, you can uh, give that particular IP address so since that uh, DB is installed on my this particular machine so I can give as localhost right now the database name so which database you're trying to access here so if you go here so I'm trying to access the database that is called students one right so I'll give the database name as students one 
right and uh, you know uh, the schema of the uh, database we have right that is dbo so we have provided all the details out here now let's try to test our connection if uh, the connection is uh, successful and we are able to uh, connect to the database click on test connection okay so uh, what is saying as connection failure you must have uh, changed the uh, database settings right uh, what is the issue okay I got the issue so I think uh, it got refreshed and it is selected as Microsoft so let me select as open source JDTS and now try to test the connection right so you see here connection MS SQL successful right so you can click on finish now as soon as you click on finish you will see your connection that is appearing out here connection MS SQL uh, 0 0.1 so that means you have connected your database to the talent now what you have to do is uh, uh, what we will do is we will create a job you know which will uh, use this particular connection and uh, we will select a table say for example any of the tables we will uh, capture that data and we will put that data or print the data into an excel file right so for that we have to create a job so for creating a job you have to go here uh, on the particular folder wherever you want to create right so right click uh, create a particular job then you have to type the name of the job so i will give some name as ms sql to excel right and again like the purpose the description as per your choice so i'm not giving anything as of now click on finish right so it has created a job now we want to add the components to this job so what are we trying to do we are trying to uh, access the database uh, read the table and uh, print that uh, data into the excel file so for that we need an input component for the database now on the right hand side on the palette uh, you will see uh, the option as databases now click on database specifics and here you will see your particular database which you're trying to add the component for so click on ms sql server and drag it here uh, sorry click on ms sql server and uh, select the component that uh, you want to drag so i want i'm taking input from the database right so let's see so tms sql input right so reads an ms sql table and extract fields based on sql query so this is a very basic uh, uh, component that will be, we will be using out here so now click on this and drag it here so you have dragged your component now next part is we have to configure this component configure means uh, you have to provide all the details to which uh, DB you want to connect and all the you know host port and schema details so in the starting uh, I told you two points right so one is through metadata connection and another one is through uh, uh, entering all the details here itself so this is what entering all the details here itself right but since we have already created a connection out here in uh, metadata db connections so what we will try to do is uh, we will try to click on property type and we will click on repository right now, <coughs> as soon as you click on uh, repository uh, you will see three dots out here click on those three dots so the repository content will pop out click on the DB connection and this is a DB connection right that just now we created so this is the use of uh, creating a connection in the metadata you can utilize it anywhere right so uh, just select that particular connection and click on OK so as soon as you click on uh, this OK so all the details see all the details have already been filled up so no need to you know specifically uh, provide all the details out here right now the next thing is um, uh, we need to define the schema a schema means what all columns uh, you know you want and uh, you want to output it to the excel file now when you click on edit schema a particular dialog box will open uh, from the plus sign you can add the columns now uh, which table you want say for example uh, suppose countries I want the countries table so I'll let's let us check right so this is the countries table right so let's see what all data is present out here right so we have country id country name and region id so schema means like how what what all columns are there so the same thing we will define out here so uh, first we'll define as you know uh, country id so cid we can uh, give the column name as cid then uh, that's a new column and uh, then it will be a varchar 
uh, you can select the database type it's a character right so uh, that is fine uh, you can uh, give the next column that is you know country name we have country name we have again you know keep it as varchar and next we have is the region id so uh, we can give as id right now id you can take it as integer right so tiny uh, okay so this is our integer right now click on okay <coughs> right now the table name that you have to give here is uh, click on these three dots and the table select table option will open and it will list you out all the tables in the db so click on countries and click on okay so it will select the countries table now uh, you have to provide a query out here right so what all details you want to you know uh, print or uh, extract in the excel file so suppose this is my query select star i want all the data so just replace this with this particular query right so this part is completed now what you want to do is you want the output of this particular data to an excel file so for that we need uh, another component or um, yeah another component that will be a file component right so this is the file component t file output excel just drag it out here and connect both these components all right so we have configured our you know uh, dbs now we need to configure this as well so configure means like uh, which format you want and uh, you can use this particular uh, excel 2007 file file format uh, then what would be the name of the sheet that you have and uh, what will be the name of the output file right so suppose i uh, test Rahul I have given the name of the file as this is the file so the output file that will come it will be named this particular uh, file and uh, the data that it will output will be in the sheet one now there are a few other options like if you want to include the header append you know the existing file and is absolute by uh, position so these are some extra information you can edit or you can select so as of now I'm just selecting you know include header I'll show you if I do not include header what will be the output so as of now just uh, select it as include header right and uh, define all columns to auto size so if you want to change the font here you have the option of changing the font out here so that is times new roman courier new suppose I'm taking this uh, Tahoma font right and I will select as define all the columns to auto size right okay so I've selected this uh, uh, option and uh, so let's see what is the schema okay so this is the schema and uh, this is your output file so how it will look like okay right so we have created a job now let's try to run this job and if see if we have done any mistakes or if the job is fine so click on run so it is connected right and this is completed so we do not see you know uh, any kind of errors um, if you see here so 25 rows uh, it is saying uh, it has extracted in 2.44 seconds right now uh, let's see whether a file is generated or not for that click on that component and go on the component here and this is the location where your file will be right so just copy this location and enter Right. So you see here, this is the file that the name of the file that I have given is testrahul.xls. So let's see what is there in the file. Okay. So you have got your data, uh, country ID, country name, and the respected ID. And you know, we have 25 uh, rows out here. And in the DB also, we have 25 rows. So all the data it has extracted into the Excel file right now I was saying that uh, if you do not uh, click on include header so what will happen so what will happen is you can see this header here out out here right so this header will not be there if I uncheck that box so let me uncheck that and now run that job click on run so the job is in progress connected and okay it has 
thrown some error what is that error let's let's check it out okay so the process cannot uh, use the file because the file is already open so actually i have opened the file so let me close this file and now run the job all right so the job uh, got ended successfully now let's check our file right so if you see here earlier we were getting an header right here so now we don't have that header and we have all the 25 rows that is our data that we wanted to output from the db table to the excel sheet so i think uh, that's it for this particular video i hope you have understood the video and uh, if you have any doubts you can just put out a comment and i'll be happy to help you till then take care thank you keep learning